How are you doing this morning? I'm pretty good. How about you? Pretty good. It's interesting weather again today. Let's see how it ends up. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I guess to just give you an overview, I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Um, some about experiences you have had that might be applicable and just giving you some hypothetical situations. Just see how you answer. So, yeah. Shall we get started? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what would um, what would your personal experience in education bring to our company? Well, you're looking for someone who's going to be able to market. Um, I have a lot of experience on YouTube. Um, okay. I know how to reach target audience. I know how to appeal to their needs and meet, meet my own. Um, I've taken a digital marketing class, so I know how to work online. Um, I know how to develop an online presence and uh, maintain it, so I feel like that could be very valuable to your business. Okay, and kind of going off of that, we are a fairly young bake shop. Um, with other well-known patisseries in the area as competition, such as St. Honoré and Pix Patisserie, how would you um, promote us to differentiate us on different social media platforms? Um, I think I have to go with what you guys specialize in. Um, I think I have to, um, in order to kind of differentiate, um, it's good to bring in your history about how you started as a food cart. Um, most businesses, um, they probably didn't start as food carts. Mm -hmm. They didn't get to uh, meet a lot of the local people, get to know them every day, um, become a city favorite as you guys have. Mm -hmm. So if you can market yourselves as um, so a business that has grown um, from just a little food cart into a full restaurant, um, I think the city would really appreciate something that grew within it. Yeah. And so just another question about that. Um, situation, I guess, if we were to receive negative feedback, even though we are a city favorite, um, on one of our social media sites, how would you address the issue in order to save the face of our company? And just as a more specific example, um, a customer may post a complaint about poor service and or quality, so how would you handle that? Um, when it comes to poor service, um, that's something we don't want. Um, we don't want people to feel like um, we provide poor service. We don't want them to feel like we provide poor food. So um, I would address the situation with respect. I would let the person know that I understand their experience wasn't um, to their liking um, and it's not to our standards. Um, and I would try and see what I could do to resolve the problem, whether that be store credit or um, a full refund. And because social media is ever-changing, um, how will you ensure that our shop is up-to-date on the current trends? Um, I have a lot of experience with social media, and I know that um, a lot of things have been growing, a lot of things have been kind of dying out. Um, obviously, you're not going to want to go on Facebook or MySpace anymore. You're going to want to uh, more go on to Facebook, and Facebook has really become something that's innovative. Um, it keeps growing along with the tides. Um, <coughs> and basically, um, you're going to want to get more onto YouTube because um, YouTube is also a lot like Facebook in the fact that um, they're not, uh, they're kind of not dying down at all. They're just continuing to grow up. Um, and I feel like advertising um, your business, maybe doing commercials on there, would really help um, a lot, especially if you can find someone who has an established YouTube presence, someone, you know, um, local even. Um, there's somebody named Always Fresh Apparel, um, who I actually know personally, and he, had, he has a very successful clothing um, channel, and he advertises places around Portland sometimes, and if you were able to meet him, work out some kind of deal, um, there's 30,000 people who now know who you are and where you're, what you're about. And a 
that's a part of our catering services. We market to both individual customers and businesses. How would you address these different markets? So maybe through social media. Yeah, well, um, it's definitely going to be uh, different to reach these different markets. Uh, if you're going to want to reach um, a business, you're probably going to not want to go too much onto um, young people uh, mm -hmm. social media websites. Like, uh, you're not going to want to appeal to too many um, YouTube uh, children. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to go directly to the business. Um, you're probably going to want to make some calls, some emails, um, but if you're trying to appeal to younger audiences and reach them, you're going to want to go on to things like Twitter and Facebook and uh, Instagram and uh, maybe even Pinterest. Okay. And so do you have any questions for me about Bon Bon Roo or anything that we do? Um, I noticed that on your website you have a chocolate macaroon. Um, are macaroons sort of your specialty? Um, yes, they are one of our specialties. We have a few. Um, we do have seasonal flavors of macaroons along with our standard ones, and we try and use local ingredients. So, like for the fruits, we use what's in season and help out our local farmers. Yes, and chocolate is one of my favorites. Yeah. One of my too. And so, yeah, just a little bit about us. Bon Bon Roo is um, the premier French patisserie here in North Portland with a variety of traditional and signature breads and pastries featuring local ingredients. And to accompany our fine breads and pastries, we offer a comfortable cafe setting, um, much like in France, but indoors because Portland rains and has very interesting weather. And yeah, so we're just looking for someone to fit well within our company and meet with our social media needs. And yeah, we'll let you know in two weeks or so. Our decisions. Yeah. It was nice talking with you. Nice talking with you. Thank you. You're welcome.